Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your girl Miranda here. We're back with another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. So we are closing in on the end of Act 2. Uh, we have our fight with the big bad of this act, uh, Kethrick Thorm, including the um, avatar of Merkel and the big skeleton thingy. <laughs> and we get to learn a whole bunch more about the bad guys' plot. So I hope you enjoy the episode. It's uh, it's an extra long episode. So uh, make, if you do, make sure you leave me a like or a comment. And if you want to watch more, my Baldur's Gate series. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Hello. You guys having like a little meeting here? General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of wow, the Wow, look at the big brain on this one. <laughs> uh, let's deception. Uh, this is a misunderstanding. I was sent to support you with the eradication of these traitors. Oh, we just got it too. I have no need for a throw. You could merely get in the way. Go on, make yourself useful somewhere. If you cannot manage that, just stay out of the way. And I guess let's go confront the big bad. Well, the big bad of this act anyway. Since there's there's a whole other act of this game. Oh no! My 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 fire elemental got stuck! No! <laughs> my fire my poor fire elemental! Come back! Come back, my dude! Let's go back up. We'll pick up our, our fire elemental friends. I didn't realize he would stick around until he died. I just like because like usually with like summons in this game, they, they only last for like one encounter. Alright, now my fire elemental is close. Um but yeah, he's he's sticking around. He's not going anywhere. Okay, let's let's go through the butthole. Oh, all right. Sneak, 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 sneak. Who's that guy? Who's this guy? Who's that girl? You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, we know who Gortash is. Motherfucker. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute. Yes, with cleavers through his blood-starved face. Uh, what's wrong with your face? How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, get him, so get him. you haven't lost your edge. Do it. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. Oh. The slayer against the undying one. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. Ah, uh, she seems stable. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. Baldur's grave. Wow, you must think if you're so clever. Is truly in your grasp, <laughs> might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. <laughs> the edict of Bane. Oh. The last of Thor. Oh. That sure is a big brain. Those are the dead three. An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. 
to hold. Oh my god, Gail, don't get greedy. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. And go ahead, it wants Tickle, of course. <sighs> Alright, so Gail, um, Gail's basically a walking time bomb. Um, and he's been ordered by Mistra to, like, blow himself up to kill this thing. But I don't want him to die because he's my friend. So we're going to try to find a different way. Uh. Um, Gail, you cannot do this. You can't condemn us to death. Also, yeah, it would kill all of us in the process. <laughs> what choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. I mean, I could just let him blow up here and get a game over screen. <laughs> trust me, Gail. We'll find another way. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life. You know that. To end it. To struggle on. It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Well, I'll stand down. We'll win with the power stand of friendship. By you. <laughs> there we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the absent. Oh, that's, Who that's Will's us? dad. You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip. Your Care Bear Scare! The Care Bear Care Stare! Us. No! No! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible. Destiny! Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. And what did it cost you? For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then, take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun. I'm sure that's what your daughter would have wanted. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you um, as my I servant. I kicked your ass before. What makes you think you can win this time? Um, all right, let's do the persuasion. I was ready to show you mercy before. It's still not too late. You can repent. Repent. 
intent. Would that even be possible? I might be able to just Perhaps. win this with dialogue. No. There is no repentance. Well, we tried. No we tried the non-violent solution. My debt can never be repaid. Or maybe he'll kill himself. Content warning, coming up. <laughs> he is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is. He is. Okay, bye. I have a feeling it won't be that easy though. Oh shit. Merkel is here. I am Darkwing Duck. <laughs> 90s kids will remember. <laughs> and Darkwing Duck was a good show. Oh, so I guess I just have to fight a god now. Boy, shit, <laughs> incredible. Uh, all right, meets. Uh, let's examine, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so, uh, invulnerable. Catherick is immune to all damage while he has the night song imprisoned. Okay, uh, oh, I have to go free her, I guess. Uh, so she's soul caged. Uh, can be help. Oh, okay. So I just have to get someone over there to help her. Okay, got it. Oh, survived. No. Oh, wait. I got another attack. Alright, so one of the doggy brains is down. Oh, no. Oh, it's just my heart. Carlac, let's Misty step over here. And we're gonna help you. So you are no longer soul caged. Hooray. Dominated. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Alright, so we broke the domination. Uh, Guardian of Faith seems like a good one. I can just, like, stick it here. And I'll just attack it every turn. And I can also blind it. Yeah, you're blind now, sucker! Ooh, yeah. Level 5, like, just, just like a bajillion of them. Ooh, big damage! Oh, this thing has like an AoE attack. Oh. Aelin, get him! What's going on? 
Reaper's Rewards. Consumed a Necromite Soul and gained the ability to cast Finger of Death. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna attack you a bunch of times. How's that? Uh, all right. I guess I, uh, just, I just keep attacking. Get him, Karlak! Yeah! Yeah! survived. Oh, ho, ho, look at all that damage! No, my fire elemental! How dare you! Get him! All right, I think um, I think I could probably kill this thing before it gets another turn. All right, it's it's got how much? It's got thirty nine hit points. So all right, Karlak might actually kill him. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite. All right, is this gonna be the kill shot? One of these two shots. Got him. I killed the giant bone monstrosity. Impossible. Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. Hello, did you just see what I did? My lord. Right, this is kind of funny. Um, underneath this book concerning the cult of the absolute and its and the dangers it presents is scrawled this response to the text. This hastily written drivel is, admittedly, well-intentioned. Its author is clearly fizzing with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of the one-eyed Vecna the Lich, the proliferation of necromantic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from Cholt. This person needs a glass of water and a lie down. <laughs> oh my god. I always read these things because sometimes they're hilarious. Send me good loot. You know, besides the plot significant loot. Oh. Oh no. I thought the game was gonna crash. I legit thought the game was gonna crash there. I was like, oh no, In I didn't death, save after the battle. The body is cooling. <gasps> but energy radiates. I'm gonna save from the right stone. after this conversation. <gasps> it's Erebeth, my wife! Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. How is it you're able to leave the Astro Prison now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. What are these stones? They're like the infinity stones, but not. The crown's it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones. Imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. 
Netherese. He's chosen a powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Mm. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the Chosen of the Dead Three. Chosen of the Dead Three? Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Mm -hmm.